It used to be hard to get good camera motions in Pika Labs. Here I prompted for a man walking. There's some movement, but the camera stays still. And here I prompt for the same man walking, but I'm using the new camera motion introduced in the latest update, and I get a much more dynamic and cinematic video. The camera control feature allows you to zoom in and out of a video, pan in different directions, and rotate the camera. It's accessed by typing dash camera, followed by the direction you want to move in. Let's try this out. Inside my private message with the Discord bot, I'll use a slash create command to enter a prompt. Type slash create and press space. I'll prompt for a rainforest landscape. At the end of the prompt, I'll type dash camera space zooming, where zooming is the camera motion I want. Press enter to generate the video. And we can confirm that the camera does in fact zoom in nicely on the rainforest. We can also reverse the motion by using the zoom out motion keyword after we type dash camera. This generates a zooming out motion with the camera moving backwards. There's also a new pan camera motion where you can pan in different directions. Using the same rainforest landscape prompt, I'll ask for the camera to pan to the left this time. All right, that worked pretty well. Our camera clearly moves to the left. We can also pan up to the right or pan down. You can combine multiple pan directions as long as they don't conflict. For example, you can pan up and to the left or pan down and then right. However, you can't pan left and right at the same time or down and up. Here's a video generated with a camera motion panning left and up. If you look closely, it's not obvious that the camera is moving up and left. In my experiments, when using the pan camera motion, especially when you combine multiple directions like up and left, Pika tends to be more consistent when you're generating video of a person or an animal compared to landscapes. Let's try these camera motions using a person as a reference image. Type slash anime into the discord message and press space. This brings up a pop-up asking for us to enter a reference image. I'll use this photo of a woman. Then hit the plus one button and select prompt from the menu. I'll enter the prompt of a woman speaking, followed by dash camera, pan up left. And we get a video of the woman with a camera motion that's clearly moving up and left. This works very consistently with other pan directions, up and right, down and right, and down and left. You can get some really dynamic camera actions using the pan directions. Here's a video generated with the polar bear image reference, with a camera motion pan down and left. It's on a completely different level in terms of dynamic movement than what was possible without the pan motions. You can combine the motion parameter with camera movements. I've uploaded an image reference of a city at nighttime using the animate command. In the prompt, I'll ask for dash camera zoom out, and then I'll add dash motion zero. The motion parameter controls the amount of movement and is a value between zero and four. This will generate a zoom out video of the city. If I adjust the motion parameter and change it to a larger value of four, the zoom out motion becomes much more obvious than at zero. This is true for any other video you generate. There's also a new rotate camera motion available. You can rotate clockwise, counterclockwise, and anti-clockwise. Counterclockwise and anti-clockwise mean the same thing, so I'm not sure why they have two separate options, but I'll test them both anyways. Using a reference image of an overhead view of a ballet dance, I'll prompt for different rotation motions. Here's a clockwise motion. It's a little confusing because clockwise means the camera rotates clockwise, but the subject in the video appears to rotate counterclockwise in the opposite direction as a camera rotation. The anti-clockwise and counterclockwise motions produce a similar result in the opposite direction. The camera rotation doesn't always work depending on your prompt. Here's that video of the city again. I asked for a clockwise rotation, but it appears to just zoom in. Here I asked it to rotate counterclockwise, and I did get a pretty cool warping effect. Note that you can only use one camera motion at a time. You can't combine the different motions of zoom, pan, and rotate together. We finally got a well-needed update to get finer camera control. This was something that was a headache to do in the previous Pika versions. It seems like Pika Labs is getting better day by day, and I'm excited to see what they come up with in the next couple of months. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll keep you updated on the latest news.